I'm going to say that. I, I, yeah, I said it. <laughs> what he did with the freshmen is going to be good for our new coach. They got game experience now. Right. So they'll be ready for the new coach next year. Right. Right. So, so they – yeah, because some people seem to think that, listen, man, let's see what he could do with the freshmen. He recruited them. They're playing well. I, I don't even get that. He recruited every player on the team. He's been here six years. Every player on the team, he's recruited them. What is like? What what do they? What what do they mean about let his players get in? He's been here six years. Every player on the team, he gave the okay to. They were like, well, nah, not our office. No, Manny Diaz was the assistant head coach when Mark Rick was here. So guess what? He's in the recruiting room saying, yeah, get the guy. Six years, every player on that team, you said okay. <laughs> so so the people that are saying that, they kind of, you ain't buying that. No. What, what, what do they mean when they saying it? Because, I mean, if he, okay, just take offense out of the way. If he's recruited every player on defense six years since he's been here, who do they want on the field? He recruited Brandon Jennings? He recruited Brandon Jennings. He was in on Gervin Hall? He recruited Gervin Hall. <laughs> every player he's recruited. Like, what? What? Is, every linebacker we got, and if they're bad, he recruited it. And that's his position. You saying him personally? Yeah. He sat on, he sat on the mama them couch and ate the collard greens. Him. Yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> him personally recruited the linebackers. I mean, he's the linebacker coach. Call Sam Brook Daddy and see if he ate their collard greens. <laughs> Welcome to South Florida. Yeah. Welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the gunshine state. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight get cake. And stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk, that can get What is going on, man? Listen, see him back down my dolphin stuff, man. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. I think he went back to Louisville yesterday. And then he came to Miami and let Dolphins beat him. They retired his jersey. They retired the jersey. Yeah, retired that boy was Gucci down. That boy Gucci down to the socks. You seen him? That boy was Gucci down to the socks in Louisville. Um, but um, the, the game to Miami, man, I was at the game the other night, man. And just those Thursday night games is bad. And the Dolphins beat him. So I'm decked out with the Dolphin thing on, man. Dolphin thing on, man. Cue the Miami Dolphin fight song. Listen, man. Want to be a part of what we got going on, IOD Squad, man. The link is in the description. Uh, just come be a part of the community. I see y'all talking about, man, January 1st, I'm signing up. Listen, bro, come be a part of the community. Get around people that's investing, talk about investing, and it'll kind of change the way you see things, and it'll get you in the mindset of investing before you even put any money towards it. It ain't about the money, man. It's more so about the mind, the mind state. Members, shout out to the members. Go to the community section. Come be a part of the group me. The group me be lit, especially on losses. Um... Yesterday, rivalry game, we go up to Dope, Campbell, Tallahassee, um, feeling good about ourselves. How many wins in a row? Three. Three wins in a row. Uh, one of the worst Florida State teams I ever saw. Is it the worst Florida State team we ever saw, X? Nah. Um, Who the hell you saw? <laughs> what Florida State team you they saw? Saying, they saying the Willie team was probably worse. Was the worst because he's black, yeah. Maybe, maybe Willie team was not worse. Well, it wasn't three and six. Uh, no, I, don't, I mean, but four and, four and eight ain't good. It was three, four and seven. Well, three and six. Now they what four and seven? What are they? Four and eight, four and six. Four and six. They, they, wait, the, did anybody see the story they told about the young black kid that came from Miami? I think they went to Palmetto, the first black football player, then Florida State. In Florida State, recruited him. He was going to be the first black player to ever play in Florida State. Did y'all see them telling that story yesterday? No, no I didn't see it. That. Throughout the game, and he no. never got on the field. Then they say he died at 22. What do you mean he died? We're going to do some research on that, T. He died at 20. What do you mean he died at 22? Why they don't ever say things how it's supposed to be said? You know what I'm saying? He was killed or something. 
Right. I, now, I'm just assuming. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to only imagine that 22 trying to be the first black player to ever play in, in Tallahassee. Somebody might kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then his white teammate who went on to the NFL I, uh, told the story kind of like. But why they don't ever say things the way they should say it? He was killed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 now, I may be dead wrong. And if I'm wrong, kill me in the comment section. But I can only imagine that 22, he didn't die from... Natural causes. So they ain't say nothing. No Pacific. Or Said he died. He died at 22. Never got to play for Florida State. Never got the. But they were saying that he started the, the movement. We just ain't let him play here in Tallahassee. We're gonna look into that, bro. We're gonna do a little research on that. We're gonna we're gonna follow back up on this. Um, but mind me, go to Florida State, man, and, and give me your point of view. How how did how you see, how did you see the game, bro? Uh, start out like you um. Uh, obviously, we get down 17 nothing early again. Um, I, I kind of agree the team, most of the team, a lot of the freshmen who didn't play in that game mm -hmm. last year, yeah, they you know, they hype, you know what I'm saying, too right. excited. So, yeah, it's a lot of the emotions going through. So, yeah, some penalties they will get here and there. Right. But, um, we started out bad, man. Um, Lastly, don't help the, the right tackle. Um, the, the guy killing him the whole game. What was the kid name? Jermaine Johnson. Right. Killing him. Who Diaz somehow didn't want to take. I don't know what that was about. He, well, well, talk to us about Jermaine Johnson. Who's Jermaine Johnson? Where is he from? Diaz didn't Jermaine want to take Johnson, him? Jermaine um, Johnson, he was the transfer from Georgia. Um, it, it hit the portal from Georgia. That's why everybody kept texting me about... Didn't Johnson want to come to Miami? Johnson wanted to be down here, man. And Diaz, for some odd reason, who knows? Well, we took another Diaz. We took another Johnson. Yeah. That ain't doing what this Johnson doing. But we had ties to that one, right? We had ties to the one we took. Yeah, because he's from down south, so. Well, and he. Take the from better south player. Ridge, right? And he take the better player, man. It's, one kid got 10 and a half sacks, and one, the other one got three. Uh, big mistake. Oh, but we get down 17 nothing, man, and everybody, they panic. And I'm like, nah, because it's nothing that Florida State is doing that's saying they are better than us. <laughs> Everything they doing, we gave it to them. We gave them two interceptions. We gave them another fumble. And we give them the ball on short field, and they up 17 nothing. Yeah, we're going to come back. You know what I'm saying? I already knew it, but Diaz play calling, lastly play calling, man. Both of them, like, this was bad. Mm-hmm. Fourth to fourteen. You see you send in the heat. You, when you send in the heat, the quarterback, he can't, he can't, you know what I'm saying? He can't handle it, but now nah, you don't want to send the heat on this play. To Corey Couch, he gets beat deep for I don't know what that's man. Just bad, man. It's just bad. Tapping it bad again. I don't know. <laughs> Three turnovers, eight penalties in first quarter, dogs. Eight penalties, undisciplined. And the coach, and the way I keep telling you, I said, the coach is allowing them to do the penalties. Like, you just keep allowing them to get penalties. But, but it becomes confusing to people when you're saying that the coach is allowing them. Um, I got a text yesterday from somebody saying that, listen, man, it's hard for me to believe that these coaches aren't telling these kids not to make penalties, and they aren't telling the kids not to, um, not to. They tell them, but they not enforcing. They not enforcing um, any discipline. Corey Flag said it. He said, "Yeah, man, we we had we lost. We had fourteen penalties." He's like, "Man, that's the same thing we do in practice." He See, said I, I think, it. So. I think that was taken out of. I think that was taken out of proportion. What he was trying to do was protect Manny once again. What he really said was, "Coach tells us this in practice all the time." That ain't him out here making the penalties. This is us out here making these mistakes. It happens in practice all the time. But what we do, the media can do, is take that sound bite. Or we can take that, that yeah. little piece and turn it in. Not turn it into, but basically say, he says it happens in practice all the time. And make it seem like what he wasn't, what he wasn't saying was, was that yeah, of course. I mean, coach, <laughs> coach, coach corrects it in practice. We do it in practice. So it's not surprising me we go out there and do it. 
He was the same one back with Manny a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah flag, yeah, yeah. flag. I mean, flag likes Manny. Um, well, he loves his coach. I guess. I mean, uh, no player is going to come out and, and right. down talk their coach. Not while he's on the team. You know what I'm right. saying? So, but we like if it happens in practice and it happens in the game, they're not getting disciplined for it. Right. So the coach is allowing it. Right. It's based, that's it's simple. Right. Um, the confusing part to people is. The fact that it's happening in real time, and they're like, "How is coach allowing that when it's the kids?" But but it when we say, "Man, it's coaching," I just had this conversation with somebody. It's coaching. It's not necessarily X's and O's coaching. We know the coaches are probably saying these things in practice. You know what I'm saying? What it boils down to is X. I think experience as a coach, setting up your system, your structure. I, man, I feel like I say this every week. But but the bar I'm gonna say it again. Setting up your system, your structure, uh, accountability, like the whole the whole entire program and, and its brand and what it stands for to the kids in their eyes. And it's hard for that to be done with an inexperienced coach and a budget that's not you know what I'm saying that's not has not been on par with all college football. So you hire an inexperienced coach. He hire other inexperienced coaches. He's the smartest guy in the room or close to. They look up to him for leadership, and he's trying to figure this thing out himself. That's the part when we just use the word coaching. That's what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? We just use the word coaching. That's what you're saying. Um, and it plays out. Man, rewind back. I tell you, it's going to be a different thing every week. I, I say this all the time. It's going to be something different every week. TVD playing lights out and boom. Somehow they take Rambo from us for three quarters. And TVD throws two interceptions. He, he, he fumbles the ball in the first quarter. We got eight penalties in the first quarter. I think one of those interceptions, one with, uh, with Harley, um, I mean the receiver. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, TV yeah. didn't throw that. We're going to take that one back from TV. Yeah, right. Harley got his pick. Yeah, Harley got, got his yeah, cookies just, took. Yeah, he just took it out of him. Took yeah, it out. Harley got his cookies took. He turned around, saw that dude coming across the middle, and probably was like, oh. And then the dude hit him. <laughs> he ended up with the ball in his hand. You know what I'm saying? Um, so so that one ain't on TVD. Okay. So that one wasn't on TVD, but TV dropped the ball, throws in the steps. Three turnovers in the first quarter. Yeah. Eight penalties. Eight you spot the team 17 you points. Ain't, you really ain't supposed to win the game. You ain't supposed to be in the game. That's supposed to be a blowout from that. Um, but for what, 14, 15 penalties in total the whole game? Mm, I think. For like 100 was... something yards. Man, that's bad. You get a penalty on the goal line. We stop them, what, two plays, and then you jump outside. <laughs> Have this to the goal. Right. What, three times just a day? Have this to the goal. Have now, listen, I'm going to tip my hat to Manny and Lashley for this. They dropped their nuts yesterday, and they went for it on four. They went for that touchdown. They could have went for a field goal. And, 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 they, and, and, they, and they made those decisions that we always cry about them playing scared, doing this, doing that. Mallory – Done woke up, you know what I'm saying, and, and and so they made a couple big decisions yesterday. Now they didn't make that last one when they could have went, could have went for it, and they decided to punt, punt which yeah. punting was the right thing to do. We could have downed that ball at the one yard line, you know what I'm saying, if 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 the players would have dealt with it correctly. Uh, um, but I give my I I I, I give him their credit for in a big game calling it like. Calling it like bosses, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, man, we we gonna go out on our own shit. Um, it's just hard. It, okay, when these two teams play, you throw the records out. You throw the records out, and it sounds so cliche, but it's true. We went in there against Florida first game of the season two years ago. We had no business playing with Florida, with Party Hardy at quarterback. You know what I'm saying? We had no business playing, but we did close game. But when they got down to it. Florida stood up, and they put us in our place. We have a hard time putting people in their place. <laughs> we, we do. We do. We do. We got a hard time beating teams we're supposed to beat. Yeah. And we we beat the te- we winning the games we ain't supposed to win. I, well, I guess not supposed to win, but we, we, we teams like that, we supposed to beat Florida State. It, no, it was no way we lose to this game. No way. I, I, okay, but actually, can, can you ever say no way in that game? 
Can't never say no way you lose to Florida Besides State. Besides Jermaine Johnson, that team ain't got a player on their team that's better than nothing on our team. And that's I'm being, and that's no troll. That's not being biased. That is the God honest truth. Shout out to Central Rockers and Kier Thomas. Shout, I mean, we gonna shout out to Brownlee yeah, from yeah. from Miami God. We still good, brother. We good. <laughs> we still, yeah, <laughs> we little Brownlee man, the little homie. Shout out to, come on, man, you're going man, a little far fetched now. I'm just being real. They not better than the players on our team. Yeah, Zero not better than Rooster. No. And, and he's good. He's a good running back. But I don't you think he's better than No. We knew they was giving us zero yesterday. And, it, and, and we it, held it down. He had, what, six, six, 60 yards of like 14 carries. So it, he didn't beat us. Nah. Nah, I just wanted, uh, I just never wanted to know you was gonna, what you was going to say. Um, but I just, but zero, zero can play, bro. No, zero can play. Zero they, got, they got some good players, but I just don't, like I say, outside of Jermaine Johnson, at any position they got, I don't think they got a better player than us. Maybe a linebacker, I don't maybe. No, man. Brownlee is a baller, man. They quarterback damn good, man. What? He's good, fool. We made plenty of plays. Come on, man. He's not a good conventional quarterback. But, bro, listen. The man, he, bro, he made some plays on us yesterday. X? Man, we make every quarterback look good for one. That guy ain't good. <laughs> he may not be a good quarterback. But he was a good, he was a good, he was a baller yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, of course. You playing zone and you just going to give him 30 seconds to throw the ball? Yeah, I'm going to complete something. Ah, uh, man, listen, man. You got to get credit with credit due, man. With for two, that man <clears throat> right at the middle on us. You know what I'm saying? That man made plays yesterday. Now, why he kept throwing the ball at the end of every play, I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. But, no, he made plays. So, tell me, if James in the game at the end of that game, do we win that game? If James in the game and they do the same thing, um, go after to Corey Couch. Are we in man or are we in zone? That play, that particular play is supposed to be man. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's either a lack of communication in the back. Because if it's, it's the corner, got to run him to the safety. Uh-huh. Or it's the corner man to man. It looked like the corner is supposed to be man to man because the safety was in the middle of the field. Right. So that looked like it's a man to man play to Corey Couch. It just stopped. And then man went right by him. Right. That can't happen. You can't have stuff like that. I guess that's where the leadership comes with, like, either Bubba, you know what I'm saying, he's older, so he probably would have, you know, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying, you, that's your man, and I got deep third in the middle, something like that. So. Right, right. Yeah, James, was, yeah, James wasn't in there. Yeah, James was limping. Mm, he, was he was growing, limping. growing or something. James went out. Yeah, he was limping. Maybe third quarter was his ankles, ankles. He didn't say two, his pull is growing or something. Oh, I think he went out like third quarter, uh, something like that, and it was put Avante back deep, right? Yeah, Avante had some t- he had some tackles yesterday. Um, he came, he was came up, but you know Avante liked to hit. Man, he come up and putting his head down. He hitting. I think the Bashad Smith play on. I think it has negative fifty yards and season wide. If you look at that play season wide, it's negative fifty. <laughs> like, stop. But the thing is. They know he getting that ball when they do it. Oh, if, if he look like he's in the motion, oh, yeah, he's getting the ball. But why would they keep doing that? That's, but that's just weird to me, period. Like, why would, they keep, why would they keep bringing him in the game and, like, running, like, the same type? It's almost like 12 in the game. And then 11 just follows 12, tackles him five yards for a loss. Uh, now, I tell you this, that Rooster play got a first down yesterday. That fourth and one. Yeah, 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 finally. Same play. <laughs> he got it, but he got it first down. I'm like, man, we gonna run this same play every game, every week. Like, do we not have another running play? And I, right. do we run counters anymore, or, or like, or do we run outside the tackles? Or, man, let's put this thing in perspective. Manny has, as a head coach, has played Florida State what three times? Three times. He two on one. Two on one. What was the stat you kept putting up last week? About them only um, scoring. 20. They only scored ten points the first year. They only scored ten points the second year. This year they scored thirty one. So basically, you said at the first two times Manny played for the state, they only had twenty twenty points in two games. Those teams weren't as bad as this team. What are we looking at here? Can we have a little Florida State talk right here for a little bit? What are we watching? This team has gotten better as the season go on, right? Those teams. Record wasn't as bad. The record wasn't bad, but um, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say because um, last year, they last year team was pretty bad. <laughs> last year team, team was pretty bad. Yeah, with who? Um, 
And then they had, remember, um, the, what was the big D tackle who, who um, came back? Marvin. Marvin, mm-hmm. Marvin Wilson, he came back. They had um, Scary Terry, the receiver. Yeah. Um, but neither one of them did anything with that Terry. team. He didn't get picked up. He got yeah. picked, I think he got picked up by somebody in the NFL. He didn't get picked up by the Fitz or something? No, he got picked up by, I think, the Bengals. The Bengals or something like that. He didn't get in trouble? Nah, 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 nah. That's the other guy I think we're talking about. No. Nah. But yeah, and I don't think this team is as bad as the last year team. Last year team was bad, pretty bad. Right, right, right. That's weird. I, but it seems like this team's getting better, bro. The the thing about this team, Florida State team, they they not giving up. Like last year team would just give up. You know what I'm saying? They go down by 14 points, they give up. Game over. This team is not giving up. They fought every game. I give them that. I, I still don't think they're talented. Yeah. Like that, um, that receivers aren't good. Um, but they got a young they got a young team, you know what I'm saying? So I get them they they are fighting. What's Gary Terry real name? Um Terry Some T. It T it starts with a T. Hey Siri. Something Some starts with a T. Yeah. Tamari and Terry. Yeah. Tamari and Terry. Hey Siri. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Where? Could you please repeat what you said? Where's Florida State wide receiver Scary Terry? I seem to be having trouble hearing you. Sorry about me. that. <laughs> Floma, Florida State wide receiver Tamari and Terry indicted for murder. July the 1st. Indicted on a murder charge for an incident in 2018. Oh, damn, he did. Oh, bro. But I mean, we haven't really followed it, so we don't know how, how well it really turned out. But, um,. I remember something happened to Marion Terry. I didn't think it was, I thought it was the other receipt, but that's something, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, back to what we were saying. This team, they recruit, they got some recruits coming in. They, listen, they they play, they, to all of their, their handicaps, you know what I'm saying, that Florida State team, they play their game, and we helped them. <laughs> we helped them. Yeah, we you helped know what I'm saying? We helped them. Helped them. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but, and we helped them, but they beat us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what 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 they did yesterday was say, man, like you say, they played their game. Like, hey, this is how this is how we're gonna play. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the if the is gonna beat us or not, and that's that's what it was. Like, we didn't make them change anything. Like, you know what I'm saying, man? It is for you to be the defensive coordinator. You didn't make the offense change at all. Like, they just said, this is how we play, and that's it. During the press conference last night, I asked Manny Diaz, did he think about, did it cross his mind to let them score with 58 seconds left? You call a timeout, maybe you let them score, 50 seconds left. They, did they get the two person or not get the two person? He said they thought about it. He said they thought about, they thought about letting them score. Um, he said it did cross their mind, but they didn't. Uh, Flag came, and they asked Flag the same question. And Flag say, man, no, this is UM. We don't let nobody score. That's kind of... He actually mumbled on his voice. It sounded like he said... <laughs> it's dumb. It sounded like that what it sounded like it said. You know what I'm saying? But they'd they be frustrated after them games. But here... But he, uh, okay. All of that. See, this is... The, all of that. Kids coming to the podium frustrated. Saying... You know what I'm saying? All of that goes into whatever's going on there. Control. How much control do you have? You know what I'm saying? How much do people know what they're supposed to be doing and what they're supposed to be, what they should and shouldn't say? I think all of that goes into that uh, and what's going on there. Um, I just think the bar has been lowered really, really low, bro. And it, 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 it's going to take a village. It will take crystal ball and... Those players from the past being around a, a village to bring it back. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take a village to bring it back. Because the, the bar has gotten really. Yeah, it's below low now, man. Like, man. Well, we said the other day we was on live talking about, um, you know, we brought back 91% of the players uh, came back. Um, then to go to say maybe. Only 50% of that is actually starting. <laughs> and, like, it's just, man, this season. Only 50% of that is starting? Yeah. Who on the bench that came back? 
some of the guys not on the team no more. Yeah, a couple of them not on the team. Oak not there. Williams not there. Gervin Hall not there. Jennings not there. Jennings. King is hurt. Harley came back. Cam is hurt. Bubble gone. Bubble gone. Yeah, like, um, yeah, 50% of them not. Couch don't start no more. What do you say to the people that say, Manny's got a nice recruiting class in. They're playing well. This was a tough year for any coach to manage this roster. We should see it through and, and, and let, give them a chance. Nah, what I'm going to say is I think what Manny has done with the freshmen is going to be good for the, our new coach, our next coach. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I, I, yeah, I said it. <laughs> what he did with the freshmen – it's going to be good for our new coach. They got game experience now. Right. So they'll be ready for the new coach next year. Right. Right. So, so they, yeah, because some people seem to think that, listen, man, let's see what he could do with the freshmen. He recruited them. They're playing well. I, I don't even get that. He recruited every player on the team. He's been here six years. Every player on the team, he's recruited them. What is like? What? What do they? What? What do they mean about let his players get in? He's been here six years. Every player on the team, he gave the okay to. They were like, "Well, nah, not our office." No, Manny Diaz was the assistant head coach when Mark Rick was here. So guess what? He's in the recruiting room saying, "Yeah, get the guy." Six years, every player on that team, you said okay. <laughs> so, so the people that saying that, they kind of, they ain't buying that. No, what what, are, what do they mean when they saying it? Because I mean, if he okay, just take offense out the way. If he's recruited every player on defense six years since he's been here, who do they want on the field? He he's recruited rec- Brandon Jennings. He recruited Brandon Jennings. He was in on Gervin Hall. He recruited Gervin Hall. <laughs> Every player he's recruited, like what? What? Is, every linebacker we got, and if they're bad, he recruited it, and that's his position. You saying him personally? Yeah. He sat on. He sat on the mom of them couch and ate the collard greens. Him. Yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> him personally recruited the linebackers. I mean, he's the linebacker coach. He called Sam Brooks that in CBA. They collard greens. Collard greens. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, nah, he, he recruited every kid on the team, so I don't understand that that talk. Like what? Right, right. Sometimes I mean, sometimes fans. I mean, fans they just don't. I mean, it's it's like looking at your child and, and want your child to be. Oh look at him! He talking already. We six. Should be talking. <laughs> you know, I ain't embarrassed and stuff like that, man. Guess what he did this morning, man? He lift up his left hand and put it down. What? <laughs> That's how fans look at the program, and and, and they can't they, they can't they can't see it clearly a lot of times because it's their baby. They emotionally so emotionally attached to it, they can't clearly see. Uh, so big picture, man, did this nail in the coffin for Manny, or it just another loss? I think it's nailed in the coffin. I mean, I I thought I thought that what um, Thursday night game when um when when, when uh, Carolina lost to Pittsburgh, I thought that was nailed in the coffin regardless because. The goal was to get to the ACC championship. He didn't reach it. So that was never in coffee. Like, that was it. Like, that was his last, the last little string hanging right there. <laughs> now, here's the ACC, right? Here's the weird stuff about the ACC. Now, this is what probably happened. Pitt probably lose two games, right? <laughs> they probably quarterback goes down. They lose two games. And the ACC is crazy like that, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. And for people to say it's over now, ACC chances are over now. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's done. Yeah, it's done. We're, Cause we got Vitek and we got Duke, so we might lose them two games. Vitek and Duke. Yeah. So yeah, it's done. So, so it was us Pitt, and who else was fighting for? Virginia. 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 Virginia yeah. So Pitt. Pitt got to play Virginia this next this week coming up, and then Virginia still got to play Vitek, and I think Pitt got to do because uh, they got somebody else. They got Syracuse. Syracuse, Syracuse. So, so, so they could lose to Virginia. Virginia fight for their life now, 
They they definitely, huh? Who? They just lost. Virginia, yeah, Virginia quarterback. He um. He got five of them. No, they have quarterbacks again. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) So Virginia just lost their quarterback. Don't it? Don't it? Listen, bro. Let me talk to y'all for a second. It just boggles me that a team like Pitt can get a decent quarterback and run the coastal. You follow what I'm saying? Coaching. They, they get a decent coaching. quarterback, and now all of a sudden they out in front of us two games in the Coastal. Yeah, they got good coaching, and that's all it took. You know, but the thing is, their quarterback been there for five years. You know what I'm saying? He waited his turn, and this year you can see, well, you know what I'm saying? We're waiting. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, is, does Pitt outman us like at any – you're talking about Florida State. Maybe like O-line and D-line. I say that they do. They do good. You think they D line line better than I D line? I D line. Uh, All I'm saying is this: Pitt gets a decent quarterback, and that's enough for them to (laughs) take over the coastal. Like, there's nothing we've done in the last ten years. (laughs) Seemed like it was good enough for us to take over the coastal. It's like we out in front. It's ours. For at least two besides, years in a row. Besides uh, that 17 year, that's it. 17 year was who? That was with um, Golden or after Golden? Right? <coughs> Mark Rick. That was Mark Rick. Mark Rick came in on fire. Yeah, we were with 10 and We were on fire that year. It's happened one time in 15 years. Once. That's what I'm saying. But we get people like pick quarterback all the time. Maybe at different positions. But we get players on that caliber all the time. We can't take over nothing. We can't even take over Florida. <laughs> we, can't, we, can't, we, can't, we can't take over nothing. The bar has to be raised, bro. Or we are looking at Duke. That's what we're looking at. If the bar doesn't get raised. Best red velvet cheesecake I ever taste. CindySwish.com. Go find out for yourself, bro. Yo, that's, that's Man, what it's we, bad. It's bad. Um, Mediocre, like fans still want Manny Diaz to be the coach. Like for what? Like they nobody could give a specific reason that he deserves to be the coach. Like how? Bro, I mean, we could talk to um Marvin, and Marvin say he he's a good defensive coordinator. What you say to that? Uh, not this year. <laughs> Man, it's the defense it's like the defense got worse. If I told you Florida State outgained us yesterday, would you believe me? Yes. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> I watched the game. They did. Another amazing thing is Rambo still had 90 yards receiving. Um, I, I don't. I mean, like, I'm, you you are this great defensive coordinator. How you like? What is? How do you not adjust the fact that they not throwing the ball? They ain't throw the ball at all in the first quarter. I think. Maybe I, I don't think I don't even. You know, I, I really don't think they threw the ball the first quarter. And I'm like, well, what is like? What is you sitting back for? And they, they not throwing the ball. Yeah, Linda Taylor. Does Linda play play enough for you? Man, I got a problem. When he makes a play, why do you take him out? Like that got to be the dumbest thing. Because that's the the rotation they got going on. Well, it got to stop. It got to stop. Most talented defensive lineman we got. The most talented one we got. That's the play well yesterday. Nesta always plays good against Florida State. But Nesta being real, he's been solid this whole year regardless. I just like Nesta, dog. Go on yeah. back to high school, man. We're going to pull up some of the old Nesta videos. Man, I'm he a Nesta fan. I'm he, a... Took that ball. <laughs> he took that ball from the running back. I just like how he do stuff, man. I'm he was a, like, huh, man, it's, it's, I got the ball. It's our ball. Man, hey. I've, been <laughs> what? I've been a Nesta fan, man. Nesta, Nesta's been a real good solid for us, man. Um, I think the fans are just mad. Okay, he was because he was highly rated coming out of high school, and they felt like he's supposed to be just you know all world. You know what I'm saying? But he's kind of undersized, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but he, he's 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 a very he's a character guy, and I I just found out you know what I'm saying a couple of weeks ago uh, that his dad was the one who produced what shot us right. Okay, the movie shot us. The movie shot us right. Whether well, shot us, uh, big time or urban film, I don't know how to put that in words around. But yeah, Miami man. Classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a. I don't know. Was that was the nation? It was a, I know it was it, in it Miami. Really start, it started out with Miami, then it then it then it got spread, to the, yeah. right, right. So he probably grew up in show business, flashy, and it goes with his, it showed you his confidence. Uh, he played a good game yesterday. Mallory played a good game yesterday. Uh, yeah, but back to Leonard Tater, you can't if he 
he keep him in the game. He, he makes him play and you take him right out. Like, I don't understand that. When Manny took over the defense, I remember saying that Manny plays a lot of players. Yeah, he does. He does. He rotates, rotates he rotates, he rotates. Um, you think it worked? I think it keeps people fresh. Um, I think it keeps people fresh. Um, but you, you, can, you, you can tell that when he comes out the game, it's not like an individual thing. It's not like... Let me tell you, it, no, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, I mean, but just, he, does, he does that with the D-line, so I can understand. But still, like, I, I feel like it's almost like, okay... It, it, playing basketball, you know, when you, when you play point guard, if that guy over there, he's on fire, you ain't going to pass to him. Even though you know he can score, he on fire. Let me keep giving him, feeding him the ball Why he on fire. Okay, but I'll ask you this. Leonard Taylor, we're talking about big man now, comes into the game. He know he's going to be in here for two or three plays, right? Do you go, like, like do you go all out? Like, you know you're going you're gonna to get in, you're going to come out, you, when you come in, you're fresh. It does allow you to go all out when you get in because you know that you have been in three plays and you can put. Now, if you stay in the game, I can see a freshman D lineman getting tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's, but I'm, he, you, you, he, I, he's probably coming in the game maybe 15 times per game. Like you want to see him how many times? We gotta get a man 20 still more. Like he, he but he's the thing is he's not just getting in there and not doing anything. He's getting in there and doing something. No, no, he he a problem. Do you ever watch him? Like the way he beat yeah. people? Like it's, well, it's never yeah. really physical. It's like it's like he's but just, he, no. Now that's that's one thing I say. He's he he's a technician when he's there because yeah. he it's like nobody seem to get stay in front of him and block him. <laughs> right. He always getting. Yeah, so like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost yeah. It's, maybe he is a technician. Maybe his instincts or something. But it's never really yeah, physical the way he get back there. It's always just like man. You can't, like, you, I'm faster than you. I'm quicker than you. You know what I'm saying? And he gets in the backfield. He's turned out to be exactly what we thought he was. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Rashad Smith, that ball, and we, we need to get him that ball in open field. He throw him like a slant. You saw him when he had it? When he, yeah. He got whacked. But he was, he was going to the, and he was going for six. And, and that's what we've been missing in the past, fool, like, Somebody get the ball and, and, and with that yak. Yeah, when we don't got the um, throw the hitch to Santana Moss and he turned around and go for 50. We ain't had that in a long time. We ain't got that. Like. Right, right, right. Um, I would love to see a Vontae play offense. <laughs> <laughs> it's a random thought. But, but but believe it or not, remember um, doing the All All America game. Vontae was returning punts and kicks. I would love to see Vontae play offense, dog. Vontae, that, that that boy could scoop with that ball in his hand. He's he's a, he's a fast kid. Um, so man, listen, you've been looking at the coaches out here. Um, so we could agree, maybe seventy percent, eighty percent. I don't think Manny's returning. Yeah, I don't think he's returning. I don't think he's returning. You still on Stoops? I love Stoops. I would love for you to get Mark Stoops. If yeah. we get Mark Stoops, year one probably ain't going to be, but trust me, he's going to have the program where it needs to be because mm-hmm. he knows how to run the program. Yeah. Um, he know how to build the defense. Like, you ain't finna. If Mark Stoops gets you one top talent at Kentucky, Kentucky going to be running the SEC. You know what I'm saying? So, why, why do you prefer Stoops over Crystal Ball? I, I've seen, I, I know the type of coaching that Mark Stoop does defensively. Mm-hmm. I see the structure he has at Kentucky. It's a hard school to build a football. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, Mario, I'm still like waiting to see. You know what I'm saying? If he, if he's the guy. What you mean? Because like I'm not, I'm not too high on him as far as he's getting all the talent at Oregon. You know what I'm saying? So obviously they better win. You say, when you say he's getting all the talent, what do you mean? Out West Coast, he's out recruiting everybody? He's out recruiting everybody. Right. He's out recruiting everybody almost around the world, you know, in America. Like, he's, he's he's had a top class every year he's been there. Right. So, um, I mean, the, the names are out there, you know, Mario Cristobal, Lane Kiffman, Mark Stoops, um, Luke Finkel. Um, Luke Finkel? That's his name, Mike Finkel. Well, I think, I think Luke, Luke, Luke you're right, Luke Finkel. But now, I mean, I, I think I, I want to see. I, they say I heard Mario Cristobal was a hole, and I want to see us get a hole coach. 
I want to see us get somebody who going a ho like in what way? Like everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I heard everywhere. I heard he put well, his foot on everybody neck. Coaches. We're going to get kids. an A when I read the tape, Lane Kiffin, because I believe Lane Kiffin. They won last night? Yep. They, was, they won? Yeah, A like, I heard he put his foot on everybody neck, though. Lane Kiffin would be like, if Lane, Lane Kiffin in Miami is like media, is, is media heaven. I think we would have the funnest times with Lane we Kiffin. We'll have fun, but it's two things about those names that which bother me. Not bothers me. Two things about those names which just doesn't sit right to me and us thinking that they'll come to Miami. University of Miami and their image and the way they want things to seem. And Mario Cristobal is is is, is a very uh, I forget how you, I can't think of how you say the word, but he's a his name and Lane name are two names that you're right. They're gonna ring in in the media. They're gonna do some orthodox things. Um, and I don't know if the University of Miami wants. You see what kind of coaches they've been hiring from man from Randy. Quiet, dormant, clean cut. We even hired a preacher. <laughs> we even hired a preacher. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of guys that they hire. And and those two guys' characters are not saying they do they did anything bad in the past, but but their characters. Oh, they're colorful people. And we haven't seen them hire anybody like that. So the, so the Mark Stoops would be the perfect. That's why I said Mark Stoops <laughs> is the perfect. That's kind of along the lines of the type of that's people the they perfect. Hire. That's the perfect because guess what? He ain't finna do all that outside. I think the stuff world is there. polarizing, right? The world is polarizing. Like when it comes to Kiffin and, 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 and um, Mario. Mario Cristobal. And we haven't seen them hire anybody that's going to step on campus and say, man, this is what we're doing in football. We don't, and it's going to, you know what I'm saying, going to, going, to, going to rub people wrong. We haven't seen them do it. We haven't seen them do it. So. Yeah, true. That's true. Right. So, so we'll see. Is that we come? I keep hearing things are being done different down there. Things are going to be done different going forward. Man, the, 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 one of them. Big big boosters like yeah man we, we they, they ready to cut the checks but they want things to change so yeah, yeah. but who the name is talking about what what with the coach yeah <laughs> I mean I, I don't know like I said they the, the names they throwing out but I'm with you I don't feel like you don't want coaches like that who want to say hey we gonna do what we want to do regardless you know what I'm saying gonna get some pushback it's um, got to be something that's gonna be in line with what they want their university stands for. Team, you know what um, I'm so, so supposed to be a big meeting or something coming up, right? This week on Wednesday. A big meeting. Do you know what it's about? It's I guess it's about the, the changes um with with the AD and all that. A big, big meeting on campus coming up Wednesday. Um and, and um I got worried about okay this is crossed my mind. Dad. Dad gets in the game and they throws him a pass right now. I think Dad can catch. He can catch. That's fine. Yeah, but that's not his. That's not what you do. You know, you don't put your Dad in the game to throw him a pass. You put Dad in the game to run the ball. Go last <laughs> They completed the pass. Dad rolls on the ground, drops the ball. And I'm like, oh, they're gonna take him out. <laughs> I just knew they're gonna take him out. But the Dad train coming. It's coming. The Dad train coming. I'm gonna tell you how it happens. He gonna probably get a lot of carries next week. Right. Next week he gonna probably right. get a lot of carries. Right, because now it turns into who's coming back. You know what I'm saying? And this now is when they start, like, like pacifying people. Then people think that they're going to be a part next year. So, like they did, Georgia did James Cook last year. Um, so, the third train coming for numerous reasons, though. I mean, I heard, I heard some backs ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing now, and Thad has cleaned up his act. Yeah, because I think um, Cody missed the block. Um, that and that's another reason why I think Cody was in front of that blocking. because blocking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not that. That's not, that, that's the thing. Like you put him in the game to block. He's not a blocker. You know, so that is a runner. You say I can hand that the ball. That gonna get you. Listen, the they say it has taken this. They they say the regiment, the workouts and stuff. That has taken the body. His body has taken it well. He's moving faster. He looks stronger. Yeah, I remember that one we broke. And we were like, dang, dad. They're like, well, dad, we ain't going to throw fast like that. So I'm in practice the other day and um, doing drills, man. And they gave him the ball and he looked he looked swift. Because you're running from grown men. You're not running from kids anymore now. So you're going to move faster. 
But 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 they say he's doing everything he has to do. He just got to realize patience. Just like the stock market, I preach it all the time. Patience. Patience. Yeah. Patience, you put patience. yourself. You put yourself behind Brown. Now it's not. It ain't on your timeline. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you get in front of Brown, it's not on your timeline. So so the third train coming. And I think when the third train comes, it's going to make a lot of fans ex- excited about next year. Will um, Mattery announced he's coming back. Right. He already announced he's coming back. So, I guess the tight end room stays the same. <laughs> and then they, they might get the, uh, the other one from the transfer from t- uh, Syracuse. What are we hearing about that guy from Northwestern, though, man? He, he, he just got to get acclimated. Who, Khalil? Yeah. Um, I mean, this year, I didn't think he was going to play much, especially if, if all the tight ends was healthy. Yeah. Um, here and there, Spurley, but he, you see him get in every now and then. Not, not that much. Yeah, but um, I'm not worried about him because he's he, fine, right? Yeah, yeah, he cool. He, he, he seems fine. Um, I think like they was just basically trying to get his body weight. Yeah. Well, okay, now you you're tight end. No, I think we get a chance as long as the mental part don't get to him where you're thinking about man, everybody playing, I ain't playing, all of that stuff, man. Everybody train don't come at the same time. Like the light don't go on for everybody at the same nah, time. Nah, man. Khalil, Khalil, man, you know, he's a king. He's going nowhere. Yeah. He's not going nowhere. I think that's for a lot of, a lot of players, bro. I think Jake a king. I think Jake loves just being in Miami. Yeah, Jake, Jake a king. I mean, man, you know, the one player I can't wait to see he get on the field, man, and my, my boy, Big Allen Hayes, man. Yeah. I just can't wait to see. Wait till he get on the field. How do you think that play out? You think right now he's just, what, not big enough or – that and Dub, Dub, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what what hurt him a lot too was the fact that he came in a lot later than, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So going to private school, they can't come in early. So right. Right. they don't get to get that spring, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or that early summer. They got to wait. Right. But, um, yeah, man, look, that's what I'm saying, man. We got a lot of good young talent that the new coach is going to be happy with when he gets. <laughs> the new coach. <laughs> I went and checked out Mary Harris the other night, bro. Brandon Ennis at quarterback, man. And they played at Boynton Beach. Boynton Beach isn't that good. It was 42 zip in the first half. Brandon threw two 60, 70 yard bombs on the money. I mean, he's, he's played quarterback before, so he can do it. And now, is he going to do it this week, though? That's the thing. I don't know, but we're going to be in the house. Play, they play some. Man, it's some good games this week. Speaking of Mary Harris in Miami Central this week. Um, Dillard played Homestead. Dillard and Homestead. Uh, American Heritage and, 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 and Central where? Trash Pile? No, it's going to be a Heritage. There, How bro. is it keep ending up at Heritage? I don't know. You know, Central mad. They say, oh, they, they don't want us to bring our band or cheerleaders. And my response to that, Central, is they got like six stands at Heritage on the visitor side. Where, where's your band going to sit at? Not them up on the sidewalk. Man. <laughs> You know what all them black people in that area? Put them, <laughs> I ain't say that. I said that. Put them, put them behind the stairs by the lake. But 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 the band has a big. But why does the game keep ending up at American Heritage though? I'm trying to understand that. Yeah, I don't know. That's I, I'm, I would think Central is a, above them in the. In the in, that's, that's what, what I'm think. saying. Like, how does it work? Like, it, that's strange. I don't know. Um, no, Western went to American Heritage two years in a row, didn't they? No, one year. The, the year before that, they uh, Harris just had to go go down to uh, to trash. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Last year, last year West came to Harris. The year before that was the year with Max. With Max, right? Almost lost a job, right? And I remember the video we made. I remember the video we turned it upside down when it was coming out. Um, like we didn't even know Twan yet. They was at American Heritage. Oh. When the guy almost got kicked out, the police kicked the guy out of the stands, and that was oh, a big yeah, deal. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. That yeah, was, so this yeah, was three yeah, years yeah, in a row. Was, yeah, yeah, right, so yeah, that was right. Yeah. Then next year was the year, it was Tiger, the Tiger game and Bromello game. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we can get to the bottom of that. Like, I don't know how that worked, but the uh, game keep ending up at <laughs> American Heritage. Uh, shout out to Pastor Tame, man. We ain't trying to take the home game away. We just trying to figure out. How does it keep happening that way? That's, that's, for the band, you know yeah, right? how does it keep happening that way? Because we love to have a band at the game. Hey. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's there because the West play Friday and the West playing that trash. So you think it's, that's the problem? I'm saying maybe. I don't know. Maybe. That's jacked up. If it's a if it's a city problem, that's jacked up. That's jacked it's up. Only, it's, only two, it's only 
really two, two, maybe three fields. The, the West. So you're telling me by default because there's only one field that the, the Miami teams have. One or two fields we got. We don't got one or two, maybe three. That Central is ending up. We having to go play at American Heritage. Like like home field advantage is not a big deal. I mean, but now look at this. Last week they was having games at three o'clock, three thirty, right? Because we only got one field, so it's two games that day at that one field. That's crazy, dog. So what else we got? Dylan and Homestead. Who else we got? Um, Columbus plays. I forget what Columbus played, but yeah, put some pretty good games on. Gonna be this week. Yeah, we got the FYFL Super Bowl going down today um, at Anson Park. Um, Got a lot of hell, a lot of Fort Lauderdale doozy about to happen down in that 12U game. Um, so listen, man, y'all stay locked in with us, man. Shout out to Edge. Shout out to Synergy Suites. Go check it out on Instagram, bro. And if you didn't order your stuff being delivered this week, then you just you suck. Go to Synergy Suites, man. Go follow on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, tell you want to see it go live. Say, listen, man, we want to see you go live more on Instagram. We like when you talk to us on Synergy Suites. Go to Synergy Suites. Go talk to us. Uh, I'm D, that's X, we out. Oh, don't take three motherfucking days, and that's what?